two more people from the tri-state are found guilty on charges related to the January 6th insurrection. A jury found the Morrow couple guilty on several charges more than two years after they joined the Oath Keepers there at the U.S. Capitol. Our David Winter joining us tonight in studio with a look at the punishment these two could face and where other local cases just like this one now stand. David. Yeah, Benny Parker is 72 years old. His wife Sandra is 63 and they are now convicted felons. A jury convicted Sandra Monday on charges of conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstruction of an official proceeding, conspiracy to prevent a member of Congress from doing their duty, destruction of government property, entering a restricted building, and obstructing officers during a civil disorder. Jurors found Benny guilty of conspiring to obstruct an official proceeding and entering and remaining on restricted grounds. In late December 2020, Benny had reached out to the Oath Keepers inquiring about membership and seeing whether he and Sandra could join them in Washington, D.C. January 6th. Court documents show photos of the Parkers as they checked out of the Comfort Inn in Arlington, Virginia on January 6th. You can see they are wearing their military fatigues. Other photos show them on the Capitol grounds. Then the now infamous photo of the Oath Keepers in stack formation about to breach the Capitol. And finally, a photo of Sandra now inside. Benny could not be identified inside the Capitol and was not convicted of breaching the building. Sandra is facing up to 20 years in federal prison. Six other people from the tri-state faced charges for the insurrection. Besides the Parkers, four others have been convicted. Three of them have already been sentenced. Butler County father and son Paul Seymour Sr. and Jr. can be seen here posing inside the Capitol. They received 12 months probation and 60 hours of community service for illegally demonstrating in the Capitol. Justin Stoll from Wilmington got two years probation, but not for breaching the Capitol. He went on social media and made interstate threats to a woman who criticized him after he posted video of himself outside the Capitol yelling at police. He threatened her by saying, if you ever jeopardize me from being with my family, you will absolutely meet your expletive maker and I will be the one to arrange the meeting. Nicholas Brockhoff from Covington pleaded guilty to assaulting, resisting, or impeding officers with a dangerous weapon. He is now facing 20 years when sentenced in June. There are two others who have been charged but not adjudicated. Luke Faulkner from Blanchester faces four counts for breaching the Capitol, and Nancy Barron from Patriot, Indiana, also facing four counts. Her complaint includes a transcript from a video she posted where she's yelling, our house, this is our house, and where is expletive Pelosi? Benny Parker faces seven years, by the way. More than a 1,000 people have been arrested on charges related to the insurrection. Half have already pleaded guilty, a fourth of those to felonies resulting in incarceration. About 50 are serving up to seven years in federal prison. Kyle? All right, David Winter leading us off tonight. David, thank you so much. The FBI is 